Hello everyone, Gebatron here. This guide is the second in the Roll Assets series for Hell Let Loose. What I mean by assets are the things that different roles can physically place on the map. These guides talk about how the mechanics behind those assets work. In the first video, we covered the commander role and learned all about garrison mechanics, so make sure to watch that video before watching this one. The squad leader has two assets available to them. First is the garrison. The garrison is a spawn point for the entire team and has a maximum spawn time of 40 seconds. To build as a squad leader, you need to either scroll up or down to equip your watch. You can also hit the corresponding number to go straight to it, in this case the number 6. Hold the right mouse button to bring up the menu and use the middle mouse button or middle mouse wheel to scroll to garrison. The squad leader, just like the commander, is able to place garrisons and the same rules apply to them with one very important caveat. Squad leaders can only dismantle the garrisons they place, while the commander is able to dismantle any garrison regardless of who built it. For example, if Abel's squad leader placed a garrison, Baker's squad leader is unable to dismantle it while the commander can. This makes the commander more versatile when it comes to garrison management. So keep track of your place garrisons as a squad leader, as you may be called on to dismantle one at some point. Like I said, we cover garrisons more thoroughly in the commander asset guide, so make sure to watch that first. Let's move on to the asset that is unique to the squad leader role, the outpost. The outpost is a spawn for a single squad. So for example, only able squad can spawn on able outpost. Baker's squad can only spawn on Baker's OP, and so on. It has a maximum spawn time of 20 seconds. Outposts are perfect for fast spawn times and vital to keeping your squad together. Outposts do not require any supplies to be built. To build an outpost, or OP, again hold the right mouse button to bring up the menu. You can use the Q or E keys to change the orientation of the OP. Notice how it says outpost 0 of 1 per unit. This means that each squad is only ever allowed one OP at a time. To build, hold the left mouse button. Once an OP is built, there is a 120 second or 2 minute cooldown period before you can place a new one. This can be bypassed, however, by dismantling your current OP. To dismantle an OP, simply approach it with anything equipped other than your watch and hold the F key. This will allow you to immediately build a new OP in a new spot without having to wait for your cooldown timer. When building a new OP, your old one will simply despawn and be moved to your current location. So unlike garrisons, there is no need to sometimes have to dismantle an old one to make room for a new one. Outposts are able to be placed anywhere in friendly territory regardless of whether it is locked friendly or unlocked friendly territory. Here we are in neutral territory at the beginning of a warfare match. You are not able to place a garrison in neutral territory, but you can place OPs here. Important to know when fighting over that middle point at the beginning of a warfare match. Here we have taken the middle point and are now in unlocked enemy territory and we can still place our OP. But now we are in locked enemy territory and if we try to place our OP it will say only recon can place in locked enemy territory. We will cover the recon role in a later video. The enemy will destroy your OP automatically if they get within 10 meters or closer to it. If you try to place an OP while the enemy is within 10 meters you will get a message reading too close to enemy. Sometimes you can begin building an OP while the enemy is over 10 meters away and it will instantly be destroyed as they were moving towards you while you were building it. So be careful. OPs are great for sustaining a presence in combat areas, but they are fragile and you will need to keep them clear. And just for reference, here is what each faction's OP looks like. So there it is. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I'll be happy to answer them. Make sure to check the description for useful links. There's a PayPal link there to help support the channel directly. Please use that Green Man Gaming link to purchase Hell Let Loose or any other of your video games. And check out the wonderful Hell Let Loose community at Game Punch via the links down there as well. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.